So guys, tomorrow I have a big day. As you've seen from the title, I'm going to Universal Studios with my friend Ruth, or as you guys know, I'm Cray Cray. Today though, I'm actually gonna sleep over at his house so I don't have to wake up in the morning and he doesn't have to wake up in the morning to pick me up. I can, We can just wake up and go to Universal. So yeah, later today, I'm gonna go to my friend Ruth's house. As you can see, I'm at my grandparents' house right now. Just chilling, so uh, yeah. Also, I gotta thank you, Rick, for taking me out to, you know, Universal. So, everyone who sees this video, go down to this channel, subscribe, you know, show them some respect, because, man, you know, thank you for taking me. So, yeah. This is my card right here that I got him. It says, I put happy birthday, Rauk, because we call him Raukulies. So, yeah. So after a long drive, I finally get to Work's house. Bro, we over here playing Switch over here, bro. The first thing we did when I got there was play Super Smash Bros. I just think it's so long. There you go. After some battles, we decided to go to 7-Eleven and get some snacks. Bro, we out of 7-Eleven. What do you get? You got? I got a. We got. We got some Oreo ice cream. We got some Dr. Pepper. Yeah. We got some chicken wings. Yeah. yeah. So let's go back to the house. Hey, wait. Let's take. Let's take a look. Take a look at those chicken. Oh, wings. We are back. We get back, and the first thing we decide to do is look back in some of our old videos while munching on some snacks. Rick is watching a video of an old of his old self watching an old video of his old self. Kecky. And after that, when work was in the shower, I decided to take over his channel, but we don't really talk about that. After that, we just play random stuff, and then we decide to play Pokemon Monopoly. And after that, we watch Greatest Showman. It's the next morning. After that, we grab some items and snacks for Universal. After that, we decide to hit the road and get some donuts. Obviously, I got a glazed donut. Just look at me munching on this thing, bro. Oh, we go back to Rick's house because he forgot his phone. After that, though, we hit the road again. Look at that, we're in the parking lot. And she's we find a spot to park at, and we go down the escalator. This is a pretty awesome area, bro. We walk through Universal City. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no! Just like that, we're in Universal Studios. The first thing we do is go to the Universal Studios store. And take a look at this store, man. Like, this looks so colorful. What did I buy? I bought this, bro. Mario, bro. This is 50 bucks, bro. It's crap. I'm sorry. I picked myself a watch up for $50. Anyways, we go down all those escalators to go to Mario Land. Bro, oh, look at this kitchen. Let's go. Oh, shit. see from just the entrance there are so much references to count what is this place? and this place was magical I don't care what you call it I don't care if you call it bad I think this place is magical and nothing will top the first time walking in this place and hearing the music and seeing all the just everything this place was so cool man We 
walked into a really cool workshop, but there's a problem, as Rook will say. There's so many people here. There is this really cool feature to see your progress just by pressing the wristband. Because this place only has one ride, there's mini games all over the map to get rewards for your wristbands. <laughs> We decide to ride in the Mario Kart ride and take a look at the scenery while you wait in line. Like, this is really, really cool. It's all your memories bunched up into one, like, waiting room. It, it looks really cool. But look at how long it would take for us to get on the ride according to the Universal app. Turns out they're over-exaggerating. It really only took us, like, one hour to get on the ride. But, hey, I ain't complaining, though. But look at this sculpture of Bowser, man. You, It really had me thinking I was literally in here. Look at this trash can. This doesn't make sense. All these references from Mario Kart left to right. They even had, like, some universal trophy. And just all details, picture of Bowser just bugs you know mechanical things everywhere learning how to build bullet bill his chair every this is just bowser's lair like i put up this mod touch to show you everything in here because it's filled with detail bro you would think like the people who made this had a gun to their head to make it the best they could but hey the, i think they're just passionate fans so yeah this is really cool and um Way to go, Universal, in a good way. This was really good, really, really, really good. We're so close, man. Wow, this is my childhood. I know, it's a childhood all to the one down. This was truly one of the best in the park. Enough said. 10 out of 10. Why? We're leaving Mario Land. Yeah, we're gonna go to like Jurassic World or something. We're going, we're going to go into Jurassic World. We're going to Coca Cola. It's like one hour long, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
He's poisoned now. He's poisoned now. Yeah, as me and Rick were gonna hop into the Harry Potter ride, we would think the line would be really long, right? No, everyone's probably at like Mario Land or somewhere because look at this clip, dude. It, no one's here, like barely anyone, bro. It took us like a solid like five minutes to even see people. All of them are like waiting in the Mario Kart ride, but hey, I complain though. Like, if not, I, I enjoyed this, dude. So yeah, enjoy this time lapse. Now, just like the Mario Kart ride, the detail here is immaculate, bro. I'm not even the biggest Harry Potter fan, but if you've seen the movies, like, this is just legendary. I remember walking here, like, four years ago, but I apparently don't remember anything because I don't remember that it was this cool. Also, fun fact, while we were waiting, the fire alarm went off for no reason, and it was very annoying. There was no fire. It went off. Luckily, someone turned it off, but still... Like, the moving photos, everything here, it's just so iconic. And honestly, I like these waiting lines. Just like the Mario one, it has a theme, you know? And it it nails its theme perfectly from the bugs to just areas. And I, it's hard to explain. It's just all Harry Potter-ish. A portion of charity, I mean, a portion of profit goes... Bye. Bye.